Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back for more Infinite Magic Red content and today this is time to try my bleed team in, against the guild boss. I'm gonna show you with his arrow without exclusive and with his arrow with the first exclusive in order to see if there is a big difference uh, using an exclusive on his arrow. Normally it should be great, you're gonna see that. But before we jump into the content, as always, if you enjoy it, please like, comment and subscribe, thank you so much. So this is the video I recorded, first of all let's have a look to my his arrow, to the stats I have before I increase his first exclusive. So this is my his arrow, he is really new on my account, he doesn't have crazy stats at the moment, only 32k, almost 33k attack, 88% effect hit and almost 100% uh, mastery, so he isn't really really awesome. This is my low mass, 34k, but uh, more than 100% effect hit and 95% mastery. So. They have almost the same amount of stats, okay? Uh, my Lomas is a bit better. So I'm using uh, both of them with Ben Austin and Catherine. Ben Austin is exclusive 4, so he will make them pursue every turn. So look at the damage. Already 10 bleeds on the boss. Look at the bleed damages on the boss. <laughs> this is amazing. 200k per bleed. This is really nice. Oh, already 10 million damage in two turns. And I'm not using a crazy amount of stuff right here. I have Catherine. You don't need the third exclusive on her, okay? Only Catherine with the uh, first exclusive would be nice to hear. If you have Ben Austin as the first uh, mythic hero, he is accessible. You just need a look at this amount of bleeds. This is this is awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Excuse me. So I, I was saying Ben Austin, you need the third exclusive. So if you want to pick him as the first mythic, it is a, a good choice, a really good one. If you want to pick him 373k per bleed, this is awesome. If you want to pick um, Ben Austin as second mythic hero, uh, focus his third exclusive because he is the best you need to bring on the against the guild boss. Every turn he will make all allies pursue as you can see right here and so it helps a lot. I think this is my Hizaro who deal the most ma uh, bleed damage at the moment. Yeah, there is a huge difference between the bleed damage right here, as you can see, uh, 130k almost per tick. Yeah, this is broken. One of my uh, heroes is dealing way more than the other. I think it is probably my Hizaro who deal the most uh, amount, the, the biggest amount of damage here. Look at this. 60 million in 11 turn, this is great. Also, I'm using Mutu in this team just to apply the attack buff 20% on my uh, bleeders. Uh, it would be better if you had uh, maybe uh, Slivel. It, this is the reason why I really want Slivel. Uh, she is the best unit I can bring in my team uh, in order to increase the damage of my units. I really need a Slivel. Uh, the damage are really awesome and the boss already always almost always have 10 layers of bleeds on him when he plays this is great okay seven this time but it's still great 15 turns 83 million damage uh, i'm a bit disappointed about my lomas i was expecting more damage from him but he is an epic unit right so he is still doing a great job for for an epic unit you will see at the end the the final result Yeah, you can compare my Lomas to my Mutu because my Mutu is a legendary unit with 5 exclusives and you are gonna see the difference between him and Lomas and his arrow, also his arrow. His arrow is impressive. So, more than 100 million damage and this is the guild boss number 5. 
And the final result, 112 million damage. So look at the damage here in total, 38 million on my Mutu exclusive 5, so this is great, but my Hizaro is dealing way better. He's doing way better without exclusive, 46 million with average stats, okay? My Mutu in comparison has great stats. If you wait until the end of the video, I will show you uh, the stats of my units all my units, okay? So my Lomas isn't doing that great, 24 million is nice, but uh, he helps a lot to apply a tons of bleeds, so my Hizaru can deal more damage. This is really interesting, 46 million is huge. This is, this is almost the same damage with my Hizaru if I compare it with my Melia. This is this is awesome. This is awesome. So now let me increase the uh, exclusive of my Hizaro. So as you can see, I'm using 10 epic dragon eyes. This is the reason why I uh, advise you to keep all your epic dragon eyes. Don't use them on epic units. It's really really valuable to use them on a legendary unit to increase his. Uh, exclusive level. So now let's have a look to the damage to the stats I have on my Hizaro. So I have I have almost the same attack than uh, than my um, low mass now. I have a bit less effect hit, but the same amount of mastery. So back to it. Let's try one more time with now a Hizaro with the first exclusive. Let's have a look to the difference. So I did 46 million damage with his arrow on the previous run without exclusive. Already 10 bleeds on the first turn. This is awesome. So they are beginning look at the damage. 10 million in the at the tw second turn. 10 million at the second turn. 8 bleeds on the boss and 10 bleeds on the second turn too. This is great. This is so great. Look at the damage of the bleed. Maybe I should try to switch my Mutu for another hero, maybe a Lucifer, maybe a Melia in order to make more to deal more damage. Uh, maybe if I uh, lose 20% of attack on my Lomas and his arrow, it won't be really bad if I bring a Melia who can deal more than 50 million damage. I don't know. Look at the damage. 34 million in 6 turns. At the moment, with my current team in the, against the guild boss, I am using uh, the same team, but I change um, his arrow and Lomas. I'm using Melia and Lucifer, almost full exclusive both, uh, and I'm dealing uh, 100 and between 140 million and 150 million against this guild boss. So we will have we will be able to compare the damage here. This is awesome. It's it it's dealing so much damage. I really love it. And it's a bleed team without a lot of exclusive. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can use this team right here uh, without a Mutu with exclusive. You don't need exclusive on Mutu. You just want to apply the attack bonus to your teammates. And normally with that team and these stats, not that high stats as you could see on my Lomas and uh, Hizaro. Wow, I love it. Yeah, this is an accessible, accessible team. Just need to replace Mutu by another attack buffer. This is an epic unit and he's a row with only one exclusive, so it is achievable. As I said at the beginning of the video, you don't need that much exclusives on Catherine in order to try uh, this fight. Uh, only the first one is great because you can cleanse the attack down on your units. And the stun sometimes. Okay, 110 million in 17 turns. We are almost done. Wow, <laughs> it's so impressive. 121 million. And 
and finally here we are 125 million so it is still between 20 and 25 million damage less than my main team but i mean i am using uh, his arrow exclusive one only and lomas who is an epic unit instead of Amelia and Lucifer, so <laughs> this is pretty impressive. I can't wait to have uh, Hizaro with the third exclusive. He will increase all the bleed damage taken by the boss. It will be so much better. Almost 30 million damage with Lomas is not that bad for an epic unit. This is great. So I really love it. So now let me show you the stats of my units as I promised at the beginning of the video. So uh, here we are on my account. This is my Ben Austin, so uh, you don't care here about the HP and the defense. Only the speed matters. You just need more um, speed than your other units uh, and more than 1,750 speed in order to outspeed the boss. This is the goal. The guild boss number 5 has only 1750 speed, so if you have higher with all your units, it will be optimal. So this is pretty all you need right here on Ben Austin. I'm using him with this emblem, so this one uh, helps a lot in order to get some extra speed. And I'm using this, this aura on him, so he gets a bit of extra speed. Uh, feather set and speed set. Uh, on my Catherine, she is really thunky, but don't pay attention to that. Only speed uh, is uh, uh, useful on the guild boss. So, uh, same amount of speed as Ben Austin almost. Uh, you need just more than 1750. And it will be okay. A bit of a healing effect because thanks to her passive she can heal your allies and it is really important in this composition because she is the only healer in your team. And also I'm using this aura on her in order to heal more your allies, my allies. And this is the emblems I'm using on her, so the speed one here. And I'm using a feather set and a speed set on her. Then I have my Mutu right here. As you can see, he has a lot of stats. Uh, he has a huge amount of crit rate, crit damage and attack. And with these high amounts of damage and also some piercing rate, thanks to his exclusives, uh, he is just a bit better than my Lomas and he is less effective than my Hizaro with bad stats. Uh, not bad stats, but average stats, I would say. So I'm using him with a wild set and a crit set. This, these are his emblems. And this is the aura I'm using on him. So uh, a direct damage maxed out aura. So this is all for my Mutu. Then this is my his arrow. I'm using a mastery set and a he effect hit set. Uh, this is his stats right here. So almost 34k attack, some effect hits almost 90% and almost 100% mastery. I am running him with this aura, this aura, so it is a new one. It, it is not maxed out, so I can get a lot of damage if I increase this aura. And this is, these are these, his emblems. A classic daughter emblems. And this is my Lomas. I'm running him with an accuracy set and a first aid set. So this is two forged sets, so he gets a, a ton of extra uh, stats thanks to this. Uh, he, here are this, his stats, so 34k attack, almost the same as my Hizaro. A bit more effect hit, 103% almost, and a bit less mastery, 95%. I'm using the exact same emblems here, as you can see. And this is the aura I'm using on him. So uh, the same thing as his arrow, I can improve his damage. Because I don't have a lot of level right here, so he missed some stats and some mastery. So that was all for the video i hope you enjoyed it in the future i will make more videos about the bleed team in dungeons maybe in order to see if i can manage to beat some content using them and yeah i hope you enjoyed it if it's the case as usual please like comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one bye bye infinite magic raid play to slay